Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Lando Calrissian. I kind of just winged the name there, but yeah, uh, pretty excited to get this figure. I saw him on Sergeant Funko again, another Black Series thanks to Sergeant Funko. So the day I saw it, I went to my Think Geek and found it, so I'm very thankful. And uh, yeah, give me a moment here. I got a new drawer thing where I put all my accessories. Anyways, uh, on the front of the package, you can see the actor there. I forget his name. And then you can see number 39. Uh, ah. <laughs> if you want to read the read-up, pause it now. There he is again. There he is there. And, uh, yeah, nothing else m much to talk about. Let's just get this guy opened up and let's see how cool he really is. All right, we got Lando out of the packaging. And he's a very pudgy, short figure compared to Han Solo, which we'll do in a minute. But... Very short, and I'm not the biggest fan of that, because I haven't seen Empire in so long now, but I remember them being around the same height. Anyways, he does come with two accessories, one of them being this blaster. I'm just going to set him down. Well, technically he comes with three, but still. Uh, this blaster here is pretty nice. I like the sculpt. really like the sculpt, actually. I like the silver here. That's cool. It comes with this thing. I don't even know what it is. So if you want to let me know, leave it in the comments. Come on, focus. That's uh, so gonna get. Yes, yeah, gold, silver. Yeah, don't know what it is. And he comes with the cape, which I think I'm just gonna keep him with the cape because that's how I remember him. But. Stand your center of each. Um, yeah. It's got the nice gold. I like the sculpt. There it is again, the sculpt. I like the baby blue color. It's kind of a darker baby blue, but... Yeah. I'm gonna keep this off for the rest of the review, but yeah, it's just... You just put it on, right? Like that, and it just sits on him. And it sits on him pretty well. I mean, but... Uh, the face sculpt does not look like the actor at all. N nowhere near. Like the hair sculpt. That's about it. About the head that I like. That looks, this looks nothing like him. I swear if they do a 40th anniversary Lando and the face sculpt so much better than this, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, it's got the baby blue, some wrinkles. This here. Very pudgy legs, unfortunately. This guy was in Predator. He he was like strong and tall, but this this, this figure does not I know this is not a predator figure, but still my phone's gone off. But still. Let's get a watch here. Some cuffs. Yeah, that's alright. Articulation, the head can't really move up, can't really move down, can move side to side. Slight head pivot, the arms can move out that far, can go all the way around. Uh, there's a single bed at the elbows and swivel. The hands can swivel and hinge. And then there's a diaphragm joint. Doesn't really move that much forward or back at all. Doesn't really move side to side as much. You can twist it. Uh, the hip joints move out that far. Can kick that far forward. Quite a bit back, thigh cut, double jointed knees, and the feet can pivot and hinge. Now I'm just gonna put the cape back on, then I'm gonna do a quick size comparison. So, with the cape, he looks a lot better to be honest, but he's got this just work boots for some reason, they don't look any uh, space ish looking. There is Han Solo, the 40th anniversary Han Solo, right next to. I don't want to stand. There we go. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this Harrison Ford's a lot taller. Maybe that is accurate. I don't know. I need to watch the movie again. But yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hey, come on, get back on. Uh. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below.
uh, uh, and subscribe to see so much more content because I'm posting every single day of June. So, what, we only got like less than 10 days now? I can do it. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, see you guys next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.